Hi everyone, my name is Sabrin and welcome to the first episode of the Sabrin Knits Knitting Podcast. This is my first time doing a knitting podcast, hence episode one. I'm super nervous. I feel very awkward in front of the camera. I don't I don't have a lot to say typically, um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Anyways, let's get into it. So first I wanted to um, talk about uh, why I'm starting a podcast. I really want to talk about yarn. I want to talk about yarn. I want to talk about knitting and nobody around me does that stuff. Like I will try to talk to my husband. He, he listens, he listens, but you know, he doesn't understand what I'm talking about. So being a part of this community, everybody will know what I'm saying and understand it, hopefully, and correct me if I'm wrong. Um, because I've also only been knitting for five months. So I'm pretty new. So there's going to be a lot of um, FOs you see that have mistakes and I'm still learning. I um, am slowly trying new techniques, um, but so far I'm trying to stay in the simple, simple things. So yeah, I'm excited to get started. I do have an outline here um, because I am always losing my place, my train of thought, like I have something I'm gonna say and then my brain's just all over the place. So, my FOs, finished objects. I have a lot of like accessories. Um, I was doing scarves, hats. I have never made gloves, maybe I will someday, but mainly the FOs I'm going to show you are sweaters because that has become the thing that I knit. I don't knit anything else but sweaters. Um, so first I guess I'll talk about what I'm wearing. This is my most uh, recent sweater I've made. It's the Seamless Mock Neck Sweater by well, uh, Bethany of Well Loved Knits. I used the yarn Al Pacino Merino by Wool and the Gang and Cameo Rose I believe is the color. Um, but yeah, I just recently finished this. It's super soft and don't come for me. I know it's like gonna be June in like a couple of days and yeah, it's hot out. And I'm a little, I'm a little, getting a little sweaty in this, but um, we're doing it, okay? We, you gotta wear, I, I feel like I don't care what time of the year it is, I'm gonna wear a sweater if it's like inside. I like to wear sweaters if the AC's on, it's kinda, it's like nice and cozy. So yes, um, this is my first finished object. Now, I really think this is my best one I've done um, so far out of the sweaters I've made. Like this could have some, this looks a little strange, but, um, and the neck, but it's pretty even, like my tension's really even. Um, I made the sleeves a little longer than what was said in the pattern. But other than that, everything's the same. I did not do the crochet thing in the neck because I did attempt that and I could not fit it over my head. It was not happening. I tried really hard. I was like, are you kidding me? So I think what I'll do maybe later on is, um, put an elastic band on it so it, you know, tightens up a little bit. Um, but I do enjoy how like it's not touching my neck as much, but it looks, it still looks nice. Really enjoyed this knit. It was really fast because it was on larger needles. It was super easy. That's it. I've been really chatty about the sweater. We'll move on to the next one. So I have, because this is my first episode, I'm doing all the sweaters I've knit since starting knitting five months ago. So let me get my first one. I have a lot here. I'm very not organized at all. Okay. This is my very first sweater ever that I knit. Um, <laughs> so I'm very embarrassed to show it. I mean, for, for it being my first sweater, it doesn't look terrible, 
but um, it's really pilly because it's 100% wool. And uh, I, I mean, I had these, I have yet to use like the, the link combs or whatever, I just got these. Um, so we'll see, but uh, yeah, this is <laughs> my first sweater. Um, this is the front. And as you can see, let me, let me, I don't know, yeah, right here. The here and here, I don't know what happened. And I, it could have been when I attached a new ball of yarn, I did not do it right, but I thought maybe once I blocked it, it would come out, but it did not. Um, and yes, I still wear it anyways, of course, but this was knit up on, I don't know the size of the needle, I forget, but I know the yarn is by Wool and the Gang, Crazy Sexy Wool. Um, and the color cinnamon dust. And this is, did I say? I don't think I said what this was. This pattern. So this is, anyways, this is the um, Cozy Mock Neck Sweater by um, Bethany of Well Up Knits. This is the panel version of this one. Um, which I, of course, I really prefer this one. This was easier. I don't like doing, I don't like sewing in things. Like it's not my favorite, um, but this was, it was a really good pattern for my first knit sweater. It was easy. It was a good pattern to start out. Um, the wool, I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like this is really pilling. I don't know if 100% wool does pill really bad. I. Um, I do know alpaca does, but I'm not sure about this. Um, but yeah, it's pretty, uh, there was a lot going on. Like, look at the, like, it's not, it ain't good. Um, so I'll clean it up. I'm proud of it. I should be proud of it because it's my very first sweater I've ever uh, knit. Um, so there are obviously a couple mistakes, but that's okay. But yeah, that was my first, my first sweater I knit. Let's move on to the next one. The next one I have, which is my second ever knit sweater. This is the Sable sweater. I think that's the, what it's called. The Sable sweater by Bethany of Well Loved It. All her patterns looked really nice and simple. And I was like, that's how, that's when it, where I'm going to start out because she also has video tutorials, which I really like. Um, she's really easy on, easy to understand. The pattern is also really easy. Um, it's like step-by-step. Step. I don't need like, I thought I was a visual learner. Like I needed to look and see. When it comes to special techniques, yes. But um, I like when patterns are written out in like word for word because I haven't, I have yet to knit a sweater that's in chart form. I'm kind of nervous to do that, but I mean, when the time comes, I'm gonna have to. But anyways, this is the Sable Sweater by Bethany of Well Love Knits. This is knit in with one strand of Drops Wish yarn. I know, the one Bethany had knit was in two strands and it made it a lot more thicker and chunkier. Um, also, I didn't have enough uh, enough yarn. So I, the one arm, yeah, one arm is shorter, one sleeve is shorter than the other, but this is one I don't really wear out. So um, I, I don't really mind, but I do wish I would have gotten maybe double the amount of yarn so I could hold it double, but it's okay. I did not do the um, crocheted neck that Bethany shows you how to. Like it's more, it lays on my shoulders a lot, so it's not um, super high up. You know, the collar could look a little bit better, but anyways, this was my second sweater I ever knit. Um, it was very fun to knit. I really enjoyed knitting with this yarn. It was, in my opinion, it was easier to knit with this 
yarn than it was to knit with the wool in the gang crazy sexy wool that is sable sweater by well love knits i really hope that is correct if it's not i'll write it on the screen or something because i'm not taking the time to look it up so let's move on now i cannot re remember there's two fo's left i cannot remember which one i knit first so we're just gonna we're just gonna guess here so the next fo is the novice sweater by petite knit i know shocking it's a different designer this is my first time you know the first first one was a panel second one was a raglan this one is a um i think it's called a circular yoke where you do increases you can kind of see the lines on it um but yeah Please don't, also don't judge me for my nails. I just realized they look so bad right now. Like, I'm embarrassed, but that wasn't gonna stop me. This was knit in drops air and one strand of Surrey Baby Alpaca, the Cumulus yarn by Fiber States. Um, I got that at my local yarn, yarn store. And with this sweater, I did a tubular cast on so it looks like it's going with the one by one rib um which I was really nervous about but it wasn't I just followed a tutorial on YouTube and it was like super easy um and I did the bind off tubular bind off as well which is not as good I think I, I made them too tight so it's not very like I don't know if it's supposed to be very stretchy anyways and they don't look super great but it was my first time like doing the cast off so what are you gonna do i'm very proud of this one i am because i really i love the color it's so pretty um it's kind of because i used a lighter surrey baby alpaca color um it kind of looks i guess what you call that marled I don't know, it doesn't look the same color. I don't know if that's what you call it, but um, yeah, I like the color a lot. The one thing I need, I need to understand, and maybe you can help me. So a lot of petite knits patterns are not drop shoulder. You separate the sleeves, put it on like a scrap piece of yarn or like whatever. Once you're done with the body, you join it, yada, yada, yada. Um, and then you connect under the armpit but I cannot, I keep, I get these holes. Like, and this one is also, also has a hole. And I don't know, I really tried hard. I tried to redo it to see if it would uh, do anything, but it hasn't. Um, I don't know if maybe I need, just need to go in, like turn it inside out and then maybe cinch it in with some yarn, just, that's the only option, but um, yeah, if anybody has any, like a, an answer for that or any tips, that would be helpful. So yes, Novice Sweater by Petite Knit. Big fan, big fan. Next one is actually kind of a summer knit. This one is the Designer's Two of Wands. I know that. It's the Summer, summer League Cutoff by Two of Wands. And I used the Comfy Cotton Blend by Lion Brand in the color Chai Latte. It was my first time knitting with cotton. I didn't mind it, it wasn't bad. It was also my first time doing a folded neck line and like seaming it in, um, which I did, I think I didn't do a bad job on. Um, I could have made the sleeves longer cause my, when I wear it, you can see a lot, a, like a lot of, uh, of my armpit but it's supposed to be a summer knit and it doesn't look terrible so but yeah i really enjoyed this i like it i wear it a lot like i do wear it a lot however the neck is a bit toasty <laughs> so me and my husband went on a walk and i wore this and i noticed like i was kind of like like with the neck it was kind of too much but overall the rest of it was fine and it it wasn't overly hot but this, I think if I knit it again, which I don't know if I will, I'll probably, 
I don't know what I'll do. I don't know. I'll think about it. But yeah, uh, this is the last FO I have to show you guys. I also have, I don't have it with me because I gave it to my sister. Um, I knit her, she wanted me to knit her a bunny hat. So like a typical just hat, you know, the typical pattern for a hat, whatever. Um, and then have bunny ears attached to it. Um, if I can, I will put it, I will put a picture of it here. I'm pretty proud of that one too, because it's super cute. She loves it. Um, I'm excited so she can wear it for the winter time. So next is whips. Let me just start with the most, the one I've been struggling with the most, because um, let me, let me just show you. First whip is the Cumulus Tea by Petite Knit. <clears throat> now you're gonna notice all of these cast-ons, all of these whips I have right now are Petite Knit designs, Petite Knit patterns. So it is what it is. So this is what I have so far. And yeah, it doesn't look bad. You're like, what's the problem, Sabrin? What's going on? Why are you so upset? It is not the pattern itself. Yes, it's on very small needles, so it's very tedious and it's taking longer because I was I was like knitting on pretty like bigger needles for my other sweaters and stuff, but I, I'm liking it so far. I like, first of all, I should tell you what yarn I'm using. So I'm using Sadness Garn. It's called Lena. I've heard it several different ways, but um, Lena is what I'm going to go with. Is it tin, Lena? Sorry, guys. This is tin Lena, not just their Lena yarn. This is like smaller strand, thinner yarn. Um, it is 53% cotton, 33% viscose, 14% linen. So it's a very thin, like, airy breathable yarn um which is i'm hoping to get it done by like the time by summer but it, well it is summer already but august or something because i really would like to wear this eventually you know while the weather is warm but you know with how small it is i don't know how long it's gonna take me i'm liking the pattern a lot i'm very nervous because um, with this one, you have to do an I cord edge. I've never done it. I'm pretty nervous to do it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but the problem, the problem with this is that I have a ball winder and you know, this ball that's connected to my whip right now. Yesterday I took two or probably more than that, two or th three or four hours trying to untangle this mess and I ended up having to cut some of it. And so that's not even the bad part because I got that figured out, which I was, th I was happy about. But there's this one where I had to detach, <laughs> guys, this is so bad. I had to detach it from my whip to put it on a new ball because I was like, this is a mess. Like, look at that. Oh. And guys, where I'm at in the US, the local yarn stores that I have, they do not sell this yarn. So it's not like I could easily get it. I got this on Etsy by Sun Yarn Studios on their store. Um, I'm sure I could get another one, but also like this is irritating because I'm like really wanting to figure this out and at least like save what I can of it because you got this. I thought do winding up cakes was going to solve the problem of getting it tangled, but it really just made it worse. And I, every time I look at it, I get really upset. So I'm just going through, I have another cake that's new. Um, I'm just going to go th through those two and then do this later because it, every time I feel so much anger, like it's 
we're gonna move on from that because if I talk about it more, I'm gonna I'm gonna be really mad. Okay, my next whip, which I didn't mean to, but I this is the Cumulus blouse by Petite Knit, and I know they're like the same, like the Cumulus tee and the Cumulus blouse. They're in very similar, and I did I started on them separately. I casted them on at different times, and then in my head. I didn't realize like, oh, maybe you should do something else for variety, but no, I just, it's staying. So this is my second flip. It is the Cumulus Blouse by Petite Knit. Um, I'm using two strands of mohair. My first time working with mohair, which is interesting. Um, We'll see when I get it finished if it's itchy, because I know some people struggle with mohair, but I don't know. Well, I'll have to see. I'll have to see how this goes. So this one's going fine. Like it's it's interesting just using lace weight yarn. This is my first time doing that. I really like it. Um, I like the feel of it. Um, I'm excited to get it done. It is. I'm using. I said I was using mohair, but it's Kids Silk Mohair by Drops um, in the color powder. I do not have the tag anymore, but color powder. And you know, I wasn't expecting, when I'm buying yarn online, I assume that like it's not gonna be the exact color. Obviously that always happens, so I wasn't super disappointed. Just look at that. It's really dark for powder. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. I do like the color. That's not the problem. I do really like it. I didn't have a specific color in mind for this. I just kind of picked something. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I also have to do an eye cord edge for this one, which we'll see how that goes. Um, mohair is harder to rip back, so I don't know if I'll attempt it. My first attempt at eye cord edge will be with this one or that one, because this one is moving a lot faster. We'll see, I don't know. <sighs> TBD. All right, my last whip. The Monday is Sweater by Petite Knit. Um, this is how much I have so far. You know, still on the yoke. Um, this was actually my first time doing short rows which I really thought it was gonna be harder than it was. I am really enjoying this one too. I am using Sadness Garn, um, Tin Silk Mohair in the color Blue Fog, and I am using the next one, Tin Pure Gint. Somebody save me. I should have looked this up before. But yes, this is also in the color Blue Fog. So we got that. It's definitely kind of a, it has tints of green in it, but definitely more blue. And then I got it in the same color for tin, the mohair and the, you know, the main yarn um, because I thought it would match. And it does. But I am really, it was, this was unexpected that it would be so much lighter than this one. I don't know. I was kind of like, ooh, I don't know how that's gonna work, but it's, it's perfect. Like I love the color, it's going, it's meshing well together. Like they knew what they were doing. There's nothing much to say other than it's coming along nicely. Um, yeah. But I've been working on the Cumulus Tee and the Cumulus Blouse for a while. And I'm like, oh, I just want to do something else, something new. But I'm like, no, if you do that, you're probably, it's probably going to take you even longer to finish those two. So I'm not going to, even though I really want to. Next thing. Acquisitions, excuse me, acquisitions. I, I 
I have a lot of yarn that just came in. First two, since they're here, um, are these Wooly Knit Cones. The 100% Merino Wool, both are, the, both are 100% Merino Wool. So we've got Plata, P-L-A-T-A, -A, Plata. It's like a light purple. I don't even know if this is the color showing through in the camera or not. Um, but it's like a lavendery. It's it's really pretty, and it's not it's not like a consistent color. It will look really cool knitted up. The next cone is in um, blanc, blanco. It's just a cream, you know, typical cream color. So <sighs> I have plans for this. Okay, I wanna I wanna knit the Cargill sweater by Rebecca of the Crayabea. Um, but I'm kind of debating on if I should knit it double. So it could be, because it's fingering weight, if so it can be DK and then it'll, it'll hit gauge, I'm pretty sure, if I hold it double to make the Cargill sweater. Or buy mohair that matches, you know, like an off-white mohair or Surrey alpaca that will work with it. I don't know. I'm like in between, so we'll see. I, I do like the halo mohair and surrey gives. It looks like, especially because that's like a, I think it's a dip stitch. And I don't even know what a dip stitch is. I just know that I was binge watching the Crayabea knitting podcast, like all of them, all the ones she's had, I binge watch them. And she said, this is like a dip stitch, not this. The Cargill sweater is like a dip stitch pattern. I'm really excited. It looks really cool. But I'm thinking, will it look even better with a lace weight with one strand of this or two strands of the fingering? I don't know. Decisions. We'll see. Now this one, I kind of have a plan for it. I think I'm going to knit the recently released sweater by My Favorite Things Knitwear. Sweater number 26 by My F Favorite Things Knitwear. Um, it's a DK and lace held together. Um, I know she used cashmere for it. That's why it looks, it's so pretty, the color she used and everything. But I was thinking maybe if I could do two strands of this and make it, see what happens. If I hit gauge, I'll have to see. I don't, so I don't typically gauge swatch because I use the suggested yarn, but um, I'm gonna have to. And I think if it's all stockinette, because it's so like, like not it's not a consistent color. It's got like lighter purple, darker purples. It'll look cool in stockinette. So wait, hold on. <laughs> Drops Lima. Drops Kid Silk Mohair in the color Chalk. This color, pretty sure it's off-white. Color number is 0100. And this one, I know it's chalk. I remember the name, color 38. Now these, like, I don't know why I did this to myself because I knew because they were out of the off-white drops kid silk and I was like oh I'll just use chalk but bro this is so I don't know why I did it but that's another reason why I kind of want they're back in stock in the Etsy shop I order from and I really want to to get the off-white mohair for this because this is, I'm planning for it to be the Moby sweater by Petite Knit. And if I'm gonna do that sweater, I wanna do it right, is all I'm saying. So that is kind of, I'm like, maybe I'll do a swatch and see if these two held together will be good, will work. Cause this does have like, this chalk has a pinkish, Tone to it. This is yellow. 
Like the tone is yellow. I'm gonna swatch it, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna look good. But who knows, I might be surprised. Maybe I'm just trying to find an excuse to buy more yarn because I do have it in my cart, um, in my Etsy cart, and I am ready to click purchase at any moment. I've had this for a while. Bought this on Amazon. It is the Softy Chunky Burnett Yarn Inspirations. I don't know. Yeah, it's in the color red. And so it's a very pretty red. I don't wear bright reds like this. So this is obviously, it's not for me. I'm going to knit my nephew um, a hat but it also like it goes down here and you can put your hands in the pockets kind of thing. I forget what the name of the, it's a free pattern on Ravelry. I forget what the name of it is, but I kind of like, because this will be a quick knit, I'm kind of waiting till the winter time. So these have been sitting in there. That is it for acquisitions. I do have two things I'm expecting in the mail. I don't know when. Um, one is a little crazy sexy wool by wool and the gang i just bought those yesterday because i got accepted for my first test knit i'm so excited um i don't know if i'm allowed to mention it so i'm not not gonna say the name of it until i've gotten permission from the designer just in case because this is my first time test knitting so i want to be really careful but yeah i wasn't expecting i signed up for a lot of like tester calls had not gotten picked and i was so excited for this one so i got crazy sex low crazy sexy wool and uh white it's like the pure white color cream color um and then i got one skein and lilac powder and then one I'm really excited for is I purchased my first hand dyed yarn and it's from Poppy and Spruce Fibers and it is her fast food coffee collection. And I saw this on Instagram. I was just scrolling. I wasn't following her at the time and I saw it was like sponsored. Like, you know, you get those ads and I was like, I was like, that looks so nice. And so I bought it. I bought, I only bought one color and I got the DK, spruce DK weight. Um, and it, the yardage wasn't as much. So I had, I got five hanks of that. Um, and this is probably not gonna come in until next month or something, but I got it in the color frosted coffee. Um, I'm so excited to try it. Like. I can't wait and I'm like kind of nervous. I don't know I with hand dyed yarn I'm not really sure how to knit it. I'll probably look up some things So I'll have to I'll figure that out later, but I'm super excited for that to come in I'm really excited. I'm excited to start the test knit um, But yeah, those are Those are my acquisitions. So that is basically it. I'm not sure if I forgot anything, before I go, I forgot. I wanted to plug another channel that I'm on with my sister, Summer. It's called Book Tea with Summer and Sabrin. It's, if you're really into books, we do a lot of um, just different videos. It's a booktube. It's, we suggest books, what we're reading currently, um, reviews on certain books. I'm biased, but maybe you should check it out because uh, if you like books, you should check it out. So with that, thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you in the next one soon. If not, you'll see me when you see me. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.